Secondhand shopping is something that many people have mixed feelings about, but I personally absolutely love it for certain things. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite uh, secondhand shopping items that I've picked up over the years, share with you what I paid for them, and also quickly share how you can think about secondhand shopping and finding a way of reducing your footprint in the items that you buy. So let's dive in. Hello, hello friends, and welcome back to Simple Essentials. A uh, huge welcome to the new subscribers as well. I've seen that um, quite a few of you have joined in the last week, which is fantastic. Super excited that you're here. Obviously super excited that all of you are here. But if you are new to the channel, my name is Emmy, and I share content on how to minimize and simplify your life in as many ways as possible. So quite often I do budget, meal planning, and things like that. I've got a couple of videos coming up for you on that. But today I wanted to talk about secondhand shopping or op shopping, uh, like we call it here in Australia. So an op shop is basically short for an opportunity shop. So in Australia, that's what we call it. You might call it something else. I know in the States you call it a thrift store or a secondhand shop, but all the same. When it comes to sustainability, I'm a big believer that if we can reduce our footprint in terms of not buying stuff that we don't need, we are reducing the footprint of things being made and created in this world. And secondhand shopping is a fantastic way as well to save money. Now, there are certain things that I wouldn't buy in a secondhand shop. I wouldn't buy a bathing suit. I wouldn't buy underwear or socks unless they were new in the package still. Um, and normally I would not buy shoes, but I've actually got a few to share with you today that where I made an exception. But generally speaking, the way I think about secondhand shopping is that someone else, so the, the item that you bought, whether it was a cup or a piece of clothing or something else, it was already produced, someone else bought it, and they decided that it was no longer for them. So they kind of passed it back to a secondhand shop to give it a second lease of life. Some of these items that I'm going to share with you today, you could have probably paid about the same amount for some of them, not all of them. You could have paid the same amount uh, in a discount shop. But remember, when you go discount shopping, those things are mass produced, where a secondhand item are most often pre-loved and someone decided that that coffee cup or whatever it is was no longer for them. So let me show you some of the things that I have picked up over the last few years, some of my favorite items, some of them are new, some of them are older and yeah let's dive in. All right, friends, so let's dive in and look at some of the items here. I'm gonna start with the category clothing. I actually buy a fair bit of my clothes in secondhand stores. Um, I'm not a brand person per se. Um, yes, if I find like a, a well-known brand that I like that is of good quality, um, I definitely will pick it up. I probably buy, I'd say about a third to maybe 30 to 40% of my clothing is secondhand store clothing. And a few examples um, is this uh, exercise top. It is just a, I think it's a Nike, Nike dry fit. So it's a pretty good quality item. It looks quite red on the screen, but it's more of a pinkish red um, actually in real life. I picked this up, it wasn't brand new, it didn't have the tags on it, but I picked this up for $2. And I do a lot of exercise and workouts and things like that, and I really like having bright, happy colors when I do my exercise. So a lot of my pants will be quite neutral, but this type of top uh, was great. So Nike Dry Fit is a good brand that I like, and I would normally buy it in a store, but $2, I think we can all agree, is a pretty good bargain. Two other items that I picked up uh, recently is this dress I will include it on the screen here. But this dress is just beautiful. It's kind of v-neck, it's a little bit more formal and it fits me amazingly. It's got pockets as well. I love pockets on a dress. So this dress I paid, I went to a slightly nicer secondhand store and I think I paid maybe 15, absolute max $20 for it. And I bet you if you would go and buy a dress of this quality, because it's got quite a thick fabric, I reckon in, a, in an actual shop you'd probably pay between $100 or even more than that for a dress of this quality. So I have worn this heaps, I've worn it to Christmases and parties and things like that. And it's just nice when you pick up a piece of clothing that fits you really well. Now, the thing I will say when you go clothes shopping in secondhand stores, it takes time, right? Because you are saving money and you are saving the environment, but you are giving your time because, you know, if you go to another store, they would have the same dress in 
10 different sizes, that's not the case when you go to a secondhand store. So you win some and you lose some. And I've tried on many pieces of clothing during the years that did not fit me at all, even if they looked really great on the hangout. Another piece of clothing that I picked up uh, probably about two years ago now is this jacket slash, I guess, trench coaty style jacket. This actually, it's not a fancy brand or anything, but it still had the tags on it, so it had never even been worn. And from memory, I think I paid $8 or $10, something like that for this jacket. Um, it's something that I wear mostly in the winter here in Australia, because it does get cooler here in Melbourne where I live in the south of Australia but it is a really great jacket. I've worn it quite a bit and um, it's the right kind of thickness for a, a autumn or winter jacket over here. But like I said, tag still on it, eight or $10. I think that is a pretty good deal. Okay, so that's it for the clothing category. So let's move on to shoes. Now, there are a couple of things I normally never ever buy in secondhand stores, uh, underwear, um, swimwear, um, socks, anything like that, unless it's in its original packaging and someone has basically donated it um, in its original packaging. Shoes I typically wouldn't buy, but very recently I came across this beautiful pair of shoes in a secondhand store. Um, I've been looking for something like a summer sandal with a tiny bit of a heel. These were $10 and they were in pristine condition. You can tell on the sole of the shoe that people have obviously worn these, but like they're in such good condition and I love this color. You might see a pattern from my exercise top. So I paid $10 for these. Um, they got beautiful uh, soft leather straps and it's just a really beautiful shoe. So because it was in such a good condition and it didn't look yucky at all on the sole of the shoe, which is obviously where your body will um, have the contact with the shoe, I made an exception. The same thing for this other pair of shoes, actually in the same shop. I have been looking for a sort of a ballet style flat shoe for a little while and same for these. They were, they're not a fancy brand or anything. You could probably pay 10 bucks in a, in a discount store for shoes like this. But I really like that they were in such good quality. They're a color that really works with the things that I tend to wear and $10 for these as well. So yes, I could have bought them somewhere else, possibly for the same amount, but I wouldn't have gotten the same quality and I would have contributed to mass production of low quality items that break really quick and you throw them out. So that's kind of the clothing section. And for those of you who watched last week's video, you would recognize this bad boy, which is my handbag. So this is a leather bag. And if you wanna see what's in it and more detail about it, I will link the video up here somewhere for you to check that out. But this bag I got in a secondhand shop about a year and a half ago, maybe for $1, which I think is a pretty good deal. So check out that video if you wanna learn more about it. Um, another thing that I often pick up in the secondhand stores is things like coffee cups, wine glasses, um, when we get things for our camper van. If you've missed the video about the camper van, I will link that up here and below as well. We do have a little camper van, uh, an oldie retro one. Um, but quite often when glasses break and things like that, you can pick things up for pennies in op shops, which is fantastic. So a couple of things that I really like that we've bought not that long ago are these little port glasses. These are just, um, they've got some beautiful detail on the stem. Um, we don't drink port that often, but we bought this little pair. I think we paid a dollar for the pair. Um, and for glassware, cups, kitchen items, plates, anything like that, like if you are kidding out a new home or um, you're moving out of home and you're getting, getting your place set up for the first time, for like 20 to $50, you can get so much if you go to a secondhand store. So please don't buy it new unless you have very, very firm views on it. Things like this, including uh, another purchase we did recently, which was this pair of coffee cups. These are actually, um, it's not everyone's flavor or everyone's taste, but I really love it. I think it's just so pretty. It, it holds the coffee really well. It's just a really nice cup to hold on to. So Paul and I both really love these and we bought these in a secondhand store. There was actually a set of six, which we broke up, which might've been bad. So we only bought the two and I think we paid a dollar each or something like that. But remember like when you're buying things like this, 
wash them in the dishwasher or hot soapy water like literally it gets rid of all the germs you don't have to worry about it um, and I think it's great and if you chip a glass or break a glass and you don't like broken like sets that are not even numbers of items you can just donate the set that's now uneven back to the op shop and someone else can buy it like people like us who need pairs of things sometimes for the camper van Let's talk storage. I think, um, you know, I've certainly organized things like my pantry and a couple of things. I'll link that video below as well, where I got some containers and I needed some items to organize stuff. And I always keep a lookout in secondhand stores for organization bins, you know, the ones with the lids, the ones without the lids and things like that. And sometimes you can be really lucky. So not long ago, I got a set of three so these are like foldable, foldable ones. They've got soft sides and they've got this like hard bottom that you can take out and then it folds right up. I, uh, I'll show you footage of where I use this particular one in my bathroom because um, we all have those things like hair dryers and stuff that doesn't have anywhere to go. So I use this particular one to put my hair dryer, my hair straightener and some uh, overflow bathroom products in on a shelf in the bathroom. Makes it look really nice and um, uncluttered. I also have, because it was a set of three for one dollar, um, so I have one in my cleaning cupboard and I can't remember where the third one is. We have some storage in that anyway. Oops. <laughs> Fell on the floor. So the, um, that was a really, really great find. And sometimes you can find those plastic bins with the snap lids or all sorts of things. So if you are organizing a big pantry or a kitchen or a kid's room or anything like that, your closet, go have a look in secondhand stores. And again, most of them, this particular one is a fabric style. So I gave it a good sniff and made sure it smelled good. It didn't look dirty or anything, but most containers that are plastic, similar to the glassware and drinkware, you can just wash them. So that's what I would recommend. Okay, we're on the home stretch. My final category that I often buy in secondhand stores is things like puzzles and board games. So this puzzle here, we actually bought probably, I want to say a couple of weeks ago now, maybe a month ago, <laughs> I lose track of time with lockdowns and everything else. But this one was still in the packaging with the plastic around it. This is a great quality thousand piece puzzle. I've gotten really into puzzles because of COVID and lockdowns and spending lots of time at home and not wanting to be on screens all day. And this was a great find. I think we paid five bucks for it and it was brand new in its original box. Now I'm not one to hang on to puzzles forever. So once I've done them once or twice, I'll usually pass them on to a friend or swap them with someone so I can do a new one. But puzzles, whether it's kid puzzles and other things, um, definitely something that I buy. Um, I know a lot of people also like buying books in secondhand stores. Um, I don't have a lot of paper books. I read 90% of the books on my Kindle, but it's definitely something you can find for really cheap, both kids' books and adult books uh, in secondhand stores and usually for very, very little uh, as well. And the final one I wanted to show you was a one of our favorite, it's becoming one of our favorite board games, which is this one called Upwards. So Upwards, I only learned about it a few years ago, probably last year actually. Um, it's kind of like a stacking version of Scrabble. So imagine Scrabble, but you just stack up the letters on top of each other. So this is a pretty old game. Um, we double checked that everything was like in the box and everything like that. It was open and loved and used before us, but the particular board and letters in this game are all made of plastic. So we could wash all that to make sure that, you know, it's nice and clean and everything. We paid $6 for this game and a good quality board game, as you might know, if you're into those sort of things can cost $50 or more. Um, so I think that was a really great find and we've had so much fun with that game uh, since we bought it. And there are some of my favorite secondhand store items that I've picked up over the years. These are the things that I'm comfortable buying, but my main tip for you is to think about what you would be comfortable buying. Also remembering that there are differences between secondhand stores. So some, um, some charities like, you know, the Red Cross and things like that will have, um, you know, a chain almost, <laughs> um, or we have Vinnie's here in Australia, which is another one. Um, and they have a pretty good range and most of them are pretty clean. I have certainly walked into some secondhand stores that just smelled 
old and I knew that any clothing that I would buy, even if I washed it, might still have that smell to it. So if you go to a good secondhand store, um, you will actually have a really good shopping experience. And just, I would really recommend to just suss out the area that you live in and see what's available to you. But the fundamental of it is, if we reduce our footprint by only buying the things that we need and when we no longer need them, if at all possible, donating them back to a secondhand store to sell them or donate them to someone else is a really wonderful thing. It helps us reduce production, it helps us reduce clutter, not just in your home, but in the rest of the world around you. How do you feel about secondhand shopping? What have been your best finds? Feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear your secondhand shopping experiences uh, and your view on these sort of things. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.